This is introducing our new wireless interface for the Murlocs. It's called the Murloc Mages Control Module and Receiver Unit. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick rundown. Power switch is here, you're going to power it on, and you're going to notice when you power it on, you're going to see some lights right here flashing. They're searching for its uh, paired units, okay? When I power this unit on right here, you're going to see that it's going to lock on. Okay, it just locked on, and you can see the uh, bar to the right here is in the green. If you see the green, that means it's receiving uh, an excellent signal. As this uh, moves away, it begins to deteriorate, and when it gets into the yellow and the red, that's a sign you're, you've got too much interference or you're too far away. This operates on the 915 megahertz range. It's FCC certified, and it's a long-range antenna. The control module is the unit that gets plugged directly into your PC. To plug it into the PC, you're going to take this USB and go right into the USB port of your PC. This unit can also be used together with a in a wired fashion, so you can have some units wireless and other units wireless. If you wanted to use the system both wired and wireless, all you'd have to do is connect your module that's going to be wired directly to these ports, to red to red, black to black. And then this unit would be out in the field with your wireless unit. Whatever unit you need to be wireless, it's uh, possibly on a barge or too far away from you to run wire to it. You simply uh, power this unit on, and right here, this red and black go directly to the module, red and black input ports of your data line. For some reason, if you should lose uh, communication between the two units, you'll notice the red light comes on here, and this becomes a, uh, a searching unit to find where the, uh, the best um, mage is. Of course, there isn't any in, in um, proximity, so it'll just constantly search until it picks it up again. Once it picks it up again, you can see, and it locks in. Okay, so what we have here now is our um, wireless interface, which is wired through the um, back of this also has uh, wired RS-45 connections. It's wired into this Murloc, which is uh, addressed to address one. And then the same interface is also sending out a wireless signal into another unit, which is done in our basement. So I'm gonna go ahead we're going to go ahead and take our uh, little control desk here. And we're going to scan for, uh, I've got two, but um, they actually, um, we only have, th one is addressed to one, the other one is addressed to three. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it scan for three addresses because that's going to order. Hit scan. Okay, it's found. Murloc address to one, which is of course this one that's wired in. And also found this one, which is uh, the uh, one that's in the basement, which is addressed to three. So then all you have to do is you can activate these things. And okay, and now you can see the little, I'm not sure if you can see that or not through the glare, but. It's uh, showing the green little checks, showing they're activated. So if you want to fire the modules, you can fire them either together or individually. Okay, we fire them together, hit fire all. I can go one, it fired Q1. Two, fired Q2. 32, it fired Q32. If you want to fire them individually, that's gonna fire module one. One, it fired one. 32, fire 32.